Welcome back to another edition of Flight Tying with Jim Ashura. Today we're going to tie another streamer, and this streamer was designed by Dick Shrive. And this is called the Missionary. I have a number six uh, streamer hook in here, long shank. And we're going to use black thread. And this is the AOT. Hemingway twisted thread and we're going to bring that thread back to just about where it would hang at the barb and of course it moves so we'll just readjust there now for the tail I'm going to take a red hackle and I'm going to get rid of some of this fluff off the bottom. I'm going to take a, a pretty good amount for it. Just kind of pull them all together. And then pull them all off in one shot. And they should be pretty well lined up. We're going to make that bot, that tail, maybe about a half the length of the hook shank. We go ahead and put a wrap underneath the tail. We're going to put a rib in, and this rib is going to be oval silver tinsel. And that rib, I'm going to leave that tag long once again for the purpose of keeping a nice balanced level uh, body. And then our body we're going to use white chenille I'm using an ultra chenille here and I'm going to leave that tag also the length of the body and then I could secure everything with some tight wraps on there And then I'm going to trim off any excess. And I'll secure that end. I'm going to go ahead and wrap that chenille. And this fly was designed for basically for lake fishing and the way you use the wing on this it's going to be a flat wing and it's going to be a mallard wing so it's going to kind of make it like a little bit of a spoon shape it's not going to be stiff like a spoon but if you want a stiff one you can just put head cement on your uh mallard shank before you put it on we're going to tie that off. Well, you fish this fly very slowly. We're going to take our rib. We're going to wrap our rib. And I'm going to hold that pretty tight as I go and we're gonna tie that in there we go I'm gonna trim that off close And I'm going to clean up that front part there a little bit. And bring my thread back to that chenille. Now I'm going to take another uh, large bunch of the red 
uh, hackle. Nice stiff red hackle. And if you have to, you can use multiple multiple bunches, which I'm going to have to do here. Now we're going to put those on same length as the first bunch. And I'm going to go ahead and trim away that excess. And we'll clean up that head again. And I want to look at the, the bottom when I'm cleaning it up. And we're going to keep our thread tight to the chenille once again. Now we're going to take our gray mallard flank. I'm going to size it up. And we want this to be just slightly longer than the tail is. So I'm going to have to trim this one a little bit. I'm just going to pull some off the bottom. And we're going to tie this on flat. Want to keep that right on the top. Gonna pull that a little bit and get that secure. And get that wing how I want it. I got one wild one there. I'm going to trim that off. And I'm going to remove the excess. And we'll clean up that head again. Make sure it's nice all the way around. Take our whip finish. Take our poke and snip cuticle trimmer and we'll put some head cement on there. You could get a decent amount of head cement on here. You got a nice open head there. And here we have the missionary. Hope that you learned something from this video. Hope that you would subscribe to my channel. Please refer me to your friends. Please visit my sponsors and let them know that I sent you. Leave comments, questions, suggestions. If you'd like to purchase any flies for me, go to etsy.com slash shop slash the fly man gym. And if you don't see it there, just give me a message on Etsy and I'll get right back to you and we'll figure out what you're looking for. And most of all, thank you very much for watching my videos.